What's up, everybody, and welcome back to The Picks. What's up, Roach? What's up, Josh? Feeling great again, baby. Five in a row for the 49ers. We did lose Jimmy Garoppolo, which sucks, but Brock Purdy was pretty good for the Niners. Uh, okay, relax with the puns. But, yeah, he looked pretty decent, man, and I wish him the best of luck with you guys the rest of the way because I know you guys got such big playoff holds, but the defense was fantastic for y'all. Ah, my Chicago Bears are moonwatching again thanks to those damn cheeseheads. All right, you win. You guys swept us again. But just enjoy it, though, because not anymore. All right? Justin Fields, he's coming for y'all. He's that guy. But I will say that Christian Watson is a stud. I mean, that dude's just incredible. Around the rest of the league, NFC East, Cowboys, Eagles dominated their opponent. And then the Commanders and Giants, they tied. Shit's crazy. And they're going to be playing again here pretty soon. Uh, Bengals, Joe Burrow continues to own the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. Oh, Mm -hmm. my goodness. I should have just did it. I should have went with the Bengals. Burrow, he just... He knows how to play them pretty well, dude. And I hope they meet in the playoffs because it, it's it's fantastic. It'd be incredible. But, Roach, how did you do with the pick I did all right, man. I got nine picks right this week, so I wasn't the greatest. I had 11 picks correct this week. Not too bad. I'll take that. Double digits, mm-hmm. baby. Now, let's shout, up our, shout out our top 10 performers from last week. Who are they? All right, we'll start off with J.D., our fellow friend over here. J.D., he got 14 picks, right? Congrats, man. ESPN fan, 7802194887 with 14 picks as well. Parker's Sports Center picks with 14 as well. Water Pools picks one, had 14. Packer Nation 0213 had 13 picks, right? CJD22K had 13, right? Hokey Pokey 10 with 13, right? Slim Buddha 22 with 13. ESPN fan 4227861895 with 13, right? And Little Hanson rounds out the top 10, Josh, with 13 as well. Little Hanson, you say? Mm-hmm. Okay, congratulations to you guys for uh, getting into the top 10. Now, here's our top 10 overall on the season so far. Four. Number one is Mysterious Speculation. Number two, Jonas. Number three, Steelers Fan for Life. Number four, Hokey Pokey 10. Number five, Single, JDWHS. Good job, Let's go. Number six, Smiling Buddha, 22. Number seven is Boss, 384. And then number eight is Xavier. Number nine. Travis, one up. Number 10, <clears throat> Packer Electric. Congratulations. That's our top 10 overall on the season. There's still some season left, so I'm looking mm-hmm. to continue to climb up the ladder. Okay, Rocha, are you ready for week number 14? Oh, I already stay ready, and I'm ready to go perfect this week, baby. Ah, we'll see about that. Are you guys ready for week number 14? We have a lot of bye weeks this week. We got the Falcons. We got the Bears, the Packers, the Colts, the Saints, and we got Washington all on a bye. But if you're ready, make sure you guys hit that like button on the premiere. Or if you're watching on the replay, we appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up, and let's get ready for... The Picks for Week 14. And of course, Roach, we got to start off with Thursday Night Football. We got the Rams hosting the Raiders. We're looking pretty damn hot right now. Any special news about the Rams this week? Uh, yes. Yeah, so today, Josh, they were the only team to put in a claim. So they now have a new starting quarterback by the name of Baker Mayfield, Josh. That's, that's, that's crazy. Whatever. You guys now got Baker Mayfield. You're three and nine on the season. And now you have Baker Mayfield. Good luck. But Roach, both teams going streaking. Rams losing streak, massive losing streak. Mm-hmm. Raiders on a three-game winning streak. We're taking the Raiders here, right? Oh yeah, the Raiders are gonna win, absolutely. Yeah, I, I didn't take the Raiders in the last two weeks. Not happening this week. I'm taking the Raiders over the mm-hmm. Los Angeles Rams. They're minus six here on the road. Yeah, I feel comfortable with minus six too. Josh Jacobs, absolutely. this offense, Devontae Adams rolling with Derek Carr. Let's get it done. 
Raiders get the win on Thursday Let's night. Let's go. Now, moving on to Buffalo, where the Bills host the New York Jets. This is going to be a really interesting game because the last time they played, let's see, the Jets, they beat Buffalo. They won 20 to 17. That was a great game, man. That was a back and forth game. Obviously, you said 20 to 17. But no, the different, is there going to be a difference this time, Josh? Do you think Buffalo is going to get the dub at home this week? <sighs> Yes, I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills. They're minus nine and a half. I don't know about that spread. I think it could be a little bit closer than that. But I'm not going to think that uh, the Jets are going to sweep the Bills here, especially on the road. I'm taking Buffalo. Yeah, give me the Buffalo Bills as well. But give me the Jets with the points, Josh. I'll go to Jets with the points. Going Buffalo. Moving on Mm -hmm. to Bengals and Browns. Dude, Bengals. Congratulations on that win against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. I mean, you guys are just you guys are something special against that team. Something special going mm-hmm. on there. Cleveland Browns with Deshaun Watson, who made his debut last week against the Houston Texans. They got the win, twenty-seven to fourteen. Who you got? I'm going with the Bengals to keep it streaking, man. Deshaun didn't look the best last week. The defense really had to carry. He is going to have to outperform Joe Burrow this week, even with Njoku back. Mixon's back for the Bengals. I'm going Cincinnati, baby. I'm going to go with the Bengals here as well at home. They're on a four-game win streak. Got to like that. Brown's on a two-game win streak, though. So Mm -hmm. a lot of momentum here for both these teams. But the Bengals' defense has been playing pretty damn good as of late. Mm -hmm. I will side with the Bengals. Jungle. Divisional matchup. This should be fun. I'll be peeping Mm -hmm. in on this game for sure. sure. Moving on to the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Houston Texans. It's Dallas versus Houston. Oh, the Battle of Texas. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking the Cowboys. They're minus 17. Sure. I'll take the Cowboys minus 17. They're going to win. Give, yeah. Give me the Cowboys. Give me the Cowboys and any amount of points you want to put up there, man. Go. You, you Cowboys, saw what they win. did to the Colts last week? Yeah. On prime time? Yeah, this mm-hmm. this team is rocking and rolling. Looking like yes, one of the sir. best teams in the NFL, let alone mm-hmm. just the, the division. But they got the yeah. Eagles right there. It's going to be interesting, but yes, sir. going Cowboys. Moving on to Detroit, hosting the Minnesota Vikings. Some AFC North action going here. Both teams coming off of a win. Detroit, man, good dominating win against the Jaguars last week. Against a Jaguars team that was having a lot of moment- momentum going into that game, and y'all stomped all of that. But here come the Minnesota Vikings, 10-2. and two. Who do you have, Roach? So, Josh, with the win, Minnesota wins the division over the Lions. And I'm going Minnesota with the win to clinch the NFC North in this week. Yeah, I'm going to take the Vikings as well to clinch the division. This, you know, that, there's just peace of mind there. You clinch yeah. the division. Now there's no way Green Bay can catch up and take it from you. You guarantee yourself a playoff spot. Minnesota Vikings, I will say, win this game here on the road. All right. All right. Oh, the Vite Lions are favorite actually in this game. Interesting. What? All right, going to Tennessee. Another divisional matchup. Tennessee taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Both teams coming off of a loss. Titans got beat down by the Eagles. Jaguars Mm -hmm. got beat down by the Lions. So each team could use a bounce back win, but who gets it? I got the Titans with a bounce back win. Traylon Burks is a concussion protocol. Trevor Lawrence, Josh, is going on there in MRI in his foot. He think he should be good to go. Trevor Lawrence or not, give me Tennessee. No, yeah, I'm going to go with the Tennessee Titans as well. Good defense. The offense with uh, Derrick Henry. I think he has a bounce back game because he got pretty much shut down by the Philadelphia yeah. Eagles last week. So going up against the Jaguars defense, yeah, I'm taking Tennessee to win this one. And improve it. Absolutely. Eight and five. There we go. Another divisional matchup. Giants hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. Whoo! Who you got in this one? I'm rocking with the Philadelphia Eagles. That was an impressive win over the Titans. Giants coming off that tie like you mentioned, Josh. I don't see them beating the Eagles. Eagles are just a way better team here, man. This is a huge statement game for both teams. The Eagles yes. want to prove that they are the daddy. They're they're the team to beat in the Eastern, in the NFC East. But the Giants, they want to prove that, hey, listen, even though we just came off a tie against another divisional opponent who is not too bad themselves, 
We want to yeah. prove that we can bang with the Eagles and even the Cowboys. They're going to want this here too, especially at home. Mm-hmm. But I will be taking the Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts is going to continue to show why he's looking like he might be the MVP of this league. Yes, sir. Agreed. All right. Now, going on to Pittsburgh, taking on the Baltimore Ravens. What's going on with Lamar Jackson? So he's got a sprained PCO. So he's basically week to week, Joss, but he is doubtful to play this week. So it's going to be the backup plane. I mean, Baltimore, they, they've been pretty – They've been pretty like lackluster, right? Even though yeah. they're you know four and one in the last five, they were struggling mm-hmm. with the Denver Broncos. Even when Lamar Jackson was in the game, they're going up against yeah. the Pittsburgh Steelers on a two game win streak. Their defense has looking has been looking pretty damn good. Uh, I think mm-hmm. Pickens could have a big game here against this yep. week's secondary. And Pickens was pissed off against the Atlanta Falcons. He was screaming for that damn ball, and maybe they might feed it to him against this uh, defense. So I'm mm-hmm. looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers with some momentum continuing to build for them. Yo, I actually agree, Joss. I'm going Pittsburgh, too. I just don't trust the Ravens or the backup quarterback. Like I said, they've been struggling in offense. I don't see how they get anything going. So I'm going to go Pittsburgh, too, man. All right. To Denver, speaking of them, at home versus the – this is rivalry week. This is divisional yeah. rivalry week, right? You know, for these most of these matchups. Broncos yes. hosting their division rival, the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, both teams came off a loss, but there's no goddamn way the Chiefs are going to lose to the Broncos, even on the road, right? Oh, I agree, man. They flex this out on a prime time for a reason. It's Chiefs easily. I'm taking the Chiefs. They're minus nine and a half. They might beat them down by multiple <laughs> touchdowns. They oh, want to yeah. make a statement. You know, uh, the Broncos are on a fucking four-game losing streak. Oof. Yeah. They, they don't have... They don't have the firepower to keep up with Kansas City. All Kansas City has to do is score two touchdowns against yep. this Broncos uh, team. I know the Broncos defense is pretty damn good, but two touchdowns wins in the game because Broncos can't even score two touchdowns. They Terrible. can't even score 14 points in the game. Nope. So I'm taking Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Now moving on to the Buccaneers and Rocha, San Francisco 49ers. Roach, take it away. So, Jimmy G. Josh is out. Now, they originally thought it was going to be terrible, but he's out seven to eight weeks right at the moment, so he could return for the playoffs, Josh, which Damn. would be huge. Absolutely huge. Tom Brady comes back potentially for the final time to face the team he grew up rooting for, man. Taking on a third-string quarterback. Hashtag rock with Brock. I'm rocking with Brock. Even though it's my team, I have to choose him because of the Bucks rule. You lucked Give me the Niners. Give me, he did, man. And I loved it. Let's see if we can continue with the full rep of works, a week of rooks, man. Give me the 49ers to make it six wins in a row, Joss. I think we'll be able to force Tom Brady into a couple turnovers. You you got, you got lucked out, man. Consider that you are not allowed to pick the Bucks, And here you go. You have to pick your 49ers who you're going to pick anyway. Yep. And I want to mm-hmm. rock with your 49ers as well. I mean, look at their defense is just too damn wow. remarkable. And the Buccaneers, I mean, they were struggling with the New Orleans Saints. They mm-hmm. had to have a clutch comeback win against the Saints. I didn't think yep. they were going to pull it off, but they did. Not bad. But here on the road, they lose to San Francisco. Let's go. Niners, baby. Seattle. At home versus the Carolina Panthers. Who do you have, Mr. Roach? So, even if Ken Walker can't play this week, which he is questionable with a, a third sprain, give me Seattle, man. They're the better team. I hate saying that. They're the better team. At home, this should be an easy win, Josh. An easy win? Well, I mean, hopefully, we'll see. Carolina, they might make this a little bit interesting considering that DJ Moore could have a really good game against a pretty weak True. defense as of right now. You can air it out on the Seattle Seahawks right now. They're giving up 400 yards a game currently. Ooh. So this could be a little bit more interesting than people think, but I'll take Seattle. They're minus three and a half. Mm, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine with that. Three and a half? Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, take, I'll still take, I'll take that too. Yeah. Now, the Chargers and the Miami Dolphins duking it out here at SoFi. Both teams coming off of a loss. Go ahead, Roach. 
So this one's going to be a fun one. This one was flexing the Sunday Night Football, man. I really look forward to this game. Tua, Herbert, the two quarterbacks taking one each other in their same draft, man. I'm going to rock with the team that we just took care of, Josh. I'm going fins up. Mike McDaniel and the Dolphins get a bounce back win. I think they are the more talented team. They're the less injured prone team here, even though they'll be without both their tackles again. Give me Miami, but this should be a fun one, dude. Los Angeles Chargers, I can't go with you guys. I'm going to go with Miami. And here the reason here's the reason why. Your offensive line is just awful. <laughs> Justin Herbert, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, he has to get that ball out of there so goddamn quick. He doesn't even have time to really think. Offensive line's playing bad. The defense has been playing pretty subpar, pretty bad as of late. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the Dolphins in a comeback win, in a bounce back win, and getting that dub here at SoFi on Sunday Night Football. Sorry, Chargers. Now to Monday Night Football. We got the Cardinals hosting the New England Patriots. Roach? This is an interesting one. I went back and forth on this one. I know the Patriots are 6-6, six and six, but the Cardinals, they could win this game, man. And you know what, Josh? I'm going to rock with the Cardinals. I just feel like at home, they need a bounce back win. They need it coming uh, off their bye. Kyler Murray is going to have a good game. T-Hop's going to go off. Should be a fun one. Stevenson's going to go off too, though, for fantasy, Josh. But give me the Cardinals. You take the Cardinals. I'm going to take the Patriots. Okay, I like I'm going to take the Patriots here on prime time. The defense is damn good for New England, so I trust sure. that. Kyler Murray, I think he makes a few mistakes, some costly mistakes. And yeah. also, Arizona's defense is not that great. Almost 400 yards per game they're giving up. I think Mac Jones and Ramondre Stevenson could have a pretty decent game here on one night of football. I'm going to take New England to win this game. So we're different on this one. I'm taking the All right, Patriots. 50, 50, All right, 50, there you go, go, New England. I, 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 I finally picked you guys. <laughs> it hasn't happened too often, but there you go. And that's going to do it here for the picks for week number 14. A lot of teams on bye weeks. My Bears, we got some time to think. Sit here mm -hmm. in this moon watching party. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, and we'll see how it all plays out. Good luck to everybody. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Go Niners. Let's go.